Hello friends, today I will discuss the lighting scheme design. So here uh, I take the three problems. So the first problem is a room with 8 meters length and 12 meters width is lighted by 15 lamps to a fairly uniform illumination of 100 lumens per square meter. Assume the lumen output from each lamp equal to 1600. Find the utilization factor of the room. So first step is, first we calculate the lumens emitted by all these lamps. So the number of lamps into the flux from each lamp is equal to, so the lumens output from each lamp is 1600 whereas the number of lamps used are 15 so the number of lamps substituted with 15 into number of lumens by each lamp is 1600 so totally we get 24000 lumens output from these 15 lamps second step is let us calculate illumination Illumination definition or the formula is it is equal to flux received by area of the surface to be illuminated. So from this we can calculate what is the flux received that is phi is equal to E into A means illumination into A. Illumination is already given and the dimensions of the room is already given so we can take those things into account then we can say 100 into area is 8 into 12 so we get 9600 lumens this is the flux received by the surface whereas the this is the flux emitted by the lamps so Now we can calculate what is the utilization factor. Utilization factor is nothing but it is the flux received by the surface divided by flux emitted by the lamps. So flux received by the surface is 96,000 whereas the flux emitted from the lamps is 24,000. So when you simplify it we get 0 0.4. Let me take second problem. So design a suitable lighting scheme for a factory with area 120 into 40 meters square with a height of 7 meters. Illumination required is 40 lux. Assume the luminous efficiency of 40 watts fluorescent lamp is equal to 45 lumens per watt and depreciation factor is 1.2. Utilization factor is 0.5 determine the mounting height of lamp and arrangement of lamps with locations. So let us see first what is the total flux received by the surface. So for this we can use this formula. This comes from the illumination formula that is phi by a and other factors. So from that we can write flux received by the surface as E into means illumination into area of the room into depreciation factor divided by utilization factor. So illumination is already given as 60 lux so we write here 60. Area is 12, 120 into 40 and depreciation factor is 1.2 divided by 0 0.5 then we get 6,91,200 lumens this is the flux received by the surface now let us calculate what is the flux emitted by the lamps so before that we calculate flux emitted by each tube light is equal to luminous efficacy into 
wattage of each lamp that is luminous efficiency is given as 45 lumens per watt and wattage of the lamp is also given as 40 watts so multiply both then we get 1800 lumens so then if we use this 40 watts lamp which is giving 1800 lumens to tally this total flux the number of 40 watts tube lights required is given by total flux divided by 1800 lumens that is lumens of each lamp so then we get 384 lamps are required suppose we take the twin lamps means twin, twin tube lights then this number will become half so so normally when we use tube lights we use twin tube lights in the factories so we write here the number of twin tube lights required is equal to the total number of tube lights required divided by 2 so we get 192 so now how to arrange these lamps in a factory so there will be several schemes so here i assumed the number of lamps required are 8 in the rows and 24 in the column wise so when we multiply both so this is coming as 192 and as per calculation also we require only 192 so both are matching so we use this scheme so now let us calculate it what is the distance between the lamps row wise that is length wise is 120 divided by 24 then we get 5 5 meters then distance between the lamps width wise is uh, width is uh, 40 meters of the room so divided by 8 so then we get 5 so here space to height ratio means uh, space in the means the length wise means the distance in the row wise 5 and uh, whereas height means the distance between the lamps width wise that is here we are getting 5 meters so space to height ratio is given by 5 by that is lengthwise distance is 5 and widthwise distance is 5 so we are getting 1 the allowable rate is 1 to 2 so 1 is valid so we go ahead with this ratio and let us assume the mounting height of the lamp is 1 meter then if you arrange those lamps then we get like this 8 lamps widthwise and lengthwise they are 24 and when we look at the length 120 meters and width is 40 meters space to height ratio means the distance between these two lamps and the distance between the vertical distance between the two lamps that is between this and this there is one here so this is the arrangement this is the area of the surface represented widthwise and lengthwise and in that lamps are located in the form of red color like this so like this we can go on uh, representing lamp here here like this we can go up to here whereas here because uh, we cannot put the lamp uh, to the wall so what we do is we divide the 5 meters by 2 that is 2.5 meters from the wall we put the lamp here similarly here here like this now let us go to the third problem so determine the number of lamps and wattage of lamps which are required to illuminate area 
60 into 15 square meters that is 60 meters into 15 meters by means of lamps mounted 5 meters above the ground. Average illumination is 100 lux. Utilization factor is 0 0.4. Luminous efficacy is 60 lumens per watt. Space to height ratio is 1. And candle power depreciation is 20%. And the depreciation factor is 1.2. So here we have to calculate the number of lamps and wattage of lamps. So first we calculate what is the total flux that we know. That is illumination into area of the room into depreciation factor divided by utilization factor. Illumination is given as 100 lux and uh, length is given as 60 and width is given as 15 meters so and depreciation factor is given as 1.2 divide that by 0.4 then we get total lumens 27 into 10 power 4 lumens and now what is the total weight is required so total flux divided by luminous efficiency luminous efficiency of uh, Units are lumens per watt, whereas total flux is lumens. So, luminous efficacy, efficacy of the lamp is given as 16 lumens per watt. So, we put here 16. So, when we simplify it, we get 17,000 lumens. Sorry, this is, this is not lumens, it is wattage. The denominator it is lumens per watt whereas in the numerator it is lumens so that lumens lumens going to get cancelled so finally we get up uh, end up with 17000 wattage watts this is the total wattage required so let us uh, see the lamps arrangement with the space to height ratio 1 this is what is a standard thing so width wise is 3 lamps lengthwise 12 so then space between the lamps widthwise is 15 by 3 that is widthwise we have chosen 3 lamps so we get 5 space between lamps lengthwise that is row wise is 60 divided by 12 so then we get 5 so here also again you have to look uh, space to height ratio means distance between the lamps row wise divided by uh, distance between the lamps width wise that is it becomes here 5 by 5 so we get 1 so the value is telling with the reference values or the standard values that is 1 so we have decided the how many lamps are I mean, uh, are going to be used so now we calculate what are the total number of lamps. So we have chosen 3 lamps widthwise, 12 lamps uh, lengthwise. So 12 into 3, we get 36 lamps. So we know the total number of uh, lamps required and we know the what is the total wattage required for the illumination. So now we can calculate what is the wattage of each lamp required. So total wattage is given that is 17,000 divided by number of lamps 36. So we get 472 watts bulb to meet this lumens. I mean this wattage. Since 472 watts of bulbs or lamps are not available in the market, we go to a next figure that is 500 watts lamp. That is take lamp wattage 500 watts. So now we know the room dimensions and we know the number of lamps required lengthwise. We know the number of lamps required widthwise. So we arrange those in the diagram like this. This is the total length of the room that is 60 meters. This is the width of the room that is 15 meters. So when you look at the lamps widthwise, then we get here one lamp here, another 
another lamp here another lamp here so totally three lamps we get one two three so in the corner we don't put here and this is the wall so we put three lamps here similarly lengthwise we put 12 12 lamps this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 here we did we should not put the lamp to the wall so instead put a lamp at a distance from the wall 5 by 2 meters because 5 is the space between the lamps as per calculation so, so 5 by 2 means 2.5 meters so from 2.5 meters from the wall you put this last lamp column like this so this completes the uh, lighting design for a given factory or room thank you